Welcome everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. I would like to start this show with a Bible verse that you can find in the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. It reads, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 6, 23. My name is uh, Alphonsine, host of this show, The Greatest Gift, A Love Story. The title of my message today is The Greatest Gift, A Love Story. I am going to use two fountains to convey my message today. We have the wedding cake water fountain. We also have the greatest gift, a love story fountain. I am going to compare the human love story and God's love story to man. So I'm starting with the wedding cake water fountain. It symbolizes a love story between a man and a woman when they decide to become one flesh, to enter into a wedding, a marriage union. On this wedding cake water fountain, you can read verses from the Bible, Matthew 19, verse 5 to 6, and it reads, For this reason, a man will leave his father and his mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined, let man not separate. So the wedding cake has, I created this wedding cake, and I was inspired by the words that someone spoke to me. Someone sent me nice words. It's like, it was a love story. It was a love story. So some of those words, you can find them on the wedding cake, around the wedding cake. And some of them reads like, I will always be there for you. That's what was writing. I will always be your friend. I will always hold your feeling high. So that was a love story between me and him. Um, as you know, as human, we don't always keep our promises. And I'm also guilty of that, of making promises that I do not keep. And I, I can inform you that that uh, love story ended. And I know how, how, how painful it can be when a love story ends. And I'm praying for you if you are listening and you have been wounded because of a relationship. I'm praying that God will help you heal those wounds. But there is hope because there is another love story. God's love story to man. And I have illustrated this love of God to man with this water fountain. On this water fountain, there is a Bible verse that reads, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You can read it in the Bible, in the book of John, verse three, uh, chapter 3, verse 16. And the name of this, Fountain is the greatest gift, a love story, fountain. If when we look into this love, into God's love to men, we can see that it was manifested by God sending his only son. So God's gift to us was sending Jesus Christ, his son, on the earth for us. That's one point. I'm going to look into three points when I'm talking about God's love story to men. 
The second point is that this is the greatest love you can ever experience. Jesus talks about greater love in the Bible. You can find it in the book of John, chapter 15, verse 13. And it reads, Greater love has no one than this, than to lie on life for his friends. You can read it in the book of John, chapter 15, verse 13. So Jesus himself fulfilled this greatest love by dying on the cross for us, for myself, for you, for everybody, so that our sin can be forgiven and we can have a, a fellowship with God. Again, the Bible states that God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So God's love for us is the greatest gift. You can, it's the greatest gift and it's also the greatest love you can ever experience. The third point as we look into God's love to man is it's a free gift. When you say free gift, it means you don't deserve it and you don't pay for it. It's free. We, first, let us, let, let us look at it's a gift. Romans 6, 23 tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So you can read it in the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 23. When we read this verse, we understand first that we have all sinned. And the Bible says so in Romans chapter 3 verse 23. We have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. You can find it in the Bible, Romans 3 23. Secondly, we just read that the price, the wages of sin, is death. And death means to be totally separated from God. But the third point, the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So it, the gift of God to us is eternal life through Christ Jesus. As I said, a gift means you don't deserve it, and it's free. You can also find it in the Bible, as you read in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 8 to 9. And it reads, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Here the Bible again confirms that, confirms that eternal life through Christ Jesus is a gift from God. So as we enter this Christmas season, Please remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. And on Christmas, at Christmas, love came down. On Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. When you read the Bible, angels announced the birth of Jesus Christ. You can find it in the book of Luke, chapter 2. I am only going to read one verse, what the announce, announcement the angels made. You can find it in the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 11. And it reads like this. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. So again, at Christmas, love came down. I would like... To illustrate this love, God's love, with a story. 
I found this story on the internet when I was getting ready for this message. It's a story about a prince who wanted to find a wife to be his queen. So one day, he passed through a poor section of a local village and his eyes fell upon a beautiful woman. During the following days, he, he will often pass by the young lady and he fell in love with her. Now his problem was, how would he seek her hand? He had different options. As a prince, because he had authority in that land, he could order her to marry him. But he wants her to freely marry him. The other option, he could drive up to her front door and propose her. But he would never, he would never be certain of her love. He might think that she married him because of his position, because of his social position. Then he came up with another solution. The prince came up with another solution. He decided to give up his position, to give up his, his king, kingly robe, and he moved into the village as a peasant. He lived among the people, he shared their interests, and he talked their language. The young lady fell in love because of who he was and because he first loved her. So in this story, the author was trying to describe how God came and lived among us in his son, Jesus Christ. God has revealed himself to us in a way you can understand. That's what Jesus did. He became flesh just like you and me. So at Christmas again, love came down. In ending my message, I would like to invite you during this Christmas season to remember the gift of God as you open your gifts. Please unwrap God's gift for you. And God's gift for you is eternal life through Christ Jesus. You might ask, how can I unwrap that gift? There is three simple steps, and it's easy to remember if you say A, B, C. They call it A, B, C of salvation. So before I go into this, I would like to ask you a question. Would you like to receive the free gift of, of God? Would you like to receive the gift of eternal life in, in Christ Jesus? It means that you receive Jesus Christ into your life as your Lord and Savior. So, as I said, steps are A, B, C. First, let's take the A. A stands for admit. The first step you take, you have to admit that you are a sinner. We read that the Bible says that we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So, first step, A, admit you are a sinner. The second step is B, believe. You have to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He came on earth, he died on the cross, and he rose from the dead, and he went into heaven. While he was dying on the cross, he was paying the price for my sins, for your sins, for the sins of the entire world. Now, after believing, you need to confess. C for confess. If you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will be saved. You receive the gift of eternal life. 
you can read it into the Bible, the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9. And it reads, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You can read it in the Bible, the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9. Right now, we can go to God into prayer. If you are ready to receive his gift of eternal life through Christ Jesus, it's a prayer. I can guide you through the prayer. Please allow me to guide you through the prayer as you decide to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You need to believe it with your heart. Not say it only with your mouth, but you need to believe it with your heart. So, so let's pray. You can repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I come to you today. I admit I am a sinner. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I believe you are the Son of God. You came on earth. You died on the cross. You rose from the dead and you went into heaven. When you were dying on the cross, you were paying the price for my sins. And today, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed this prayer, you are saved. You have received the gift of eternal life through Christ Jesus. If you pray the prayer, believing it from your heart. The Bible says that when a sinner repents, the angels in heaven rejoice. So right now, heaven is rejoicing because of you. So please, if you have prayed this prayer with us, let us know. We want to rejoice with you. And thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for following the show. And remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. See you next time. Thank you.
of God Love's pure light Radiant beams from thine holy face With the dawn of redeeming grace Jesus, Lord, at thy birth Lord at thy birth Joy to the world the Lord is come let earth receive her king let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing and heaven and nature sing and heaven and heaven and nature sing joy to the world the Savior reigns let men their songs implore while fields and floods, rock hills and plains Repeat the sound in joy, repeat the sound in joy Repeat, repeat the sound in joy Sins and sorrows grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow. Far as the curse is found, far as the curse is found, far as far as the curse is found. Oh. sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn Born to give 
them second bird Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn king Oh, come let us adore 